G'day fellow Moto Vloggers, uh, Bandit Nevon. So Moki the Suzuki Bandit on this Thursday afternoon. I've yeah, got a couple of stories for you. Um, the first one is, uh, I went shop I go shopping on Thursday and I done my shopping and uh, that sort of thing and um, I met up with one of my friends that um, go to Manopara as consistently as me and he has a gopher and uh, I normally uh, go in when he get, goes into coals and food land and all that with him but today I couldn't because I had me shopping <coughs> so I uh, said I'll look after your gopher and uh, another bloke parked near the pole where um, Steve had parked his gopher and um, got off his gopher and went over to um, the front counter of uh, Foodland and another bloke was coming out and he picked something off the, up off the ground from um, uh, in front of his, uh, his, his gopher and um, he uh, took it up to the counter um, the front counter of Foodland and gave it to the girl and I said to I said to the bloke that did I think that's the uh, the owner of the card standing there talking to the lady on the uh, Foodland counter so I went up there and I said look I think you've dropped your card um, and uh, another chap has bought it here and gave it to the girl you're talking to and she said oh what's your name and had a look on the card and it was his card so that was good um, <clears throat> then I went and um, sat on the chair near the chemist chemist warehouse near um, chemist warehouse in Manopara shops and um, I'm waiting for Steve he had to go in there to get something and uh, bugger me um, a lady walked past and dropped a purse and she didn't notice it <clears throat> so I quickly got up and I said hey lady pick the purse up. I said you drop your purse whatever you do don't do that around here <laughs> um, there's too many opportuni opportunistic people that live in this area and she was so grateful I said no no problem at all I said I'm glad I saw it not someone else that may not have given it back so that's uh, two things um, and uh, another funny thing happened to me yesterday as you know I go up to the uh, to the bike shop um, near Gawla Gawla Motorcycle Centre and um, I don't actually build the side by side uh, farm vehicles someone else does but what the owner does is, say, is sometimes says ah oh, can you put some fuel in the um in the new newly built side by side and i said yeah all right no worries and he said what it, uh, and start it make sure it starts so i go up there and i put um a few liters of fuel in it and i go to start it and the bloody thing wouldn't start and uh, i'm listening for the uh, fuel pump and I can't hear the fuel pump turning on and this is this is not not that unusual there's sometimes they don't they don't actually work straight away it could be a blown fuse or something stupid like that so um, we're thinking about it and thinking about it and uh, we check the relay of the um, of the fuel pump and uh, it wasn't that uh, we checked the fuses and it wasn't that and uh, he just finally gave up the owner and uh, rung up the wholesaler um, who uh, well the distributor of the, of the CF Moto products and uh, they said oh well um, the reason it won't start is it hasn't got an ECU in it we nearly fell over. No ECU. No wonder it wouldn't start. 
but um, apparently they haven't told us that they're not shipping the ECUs with the um, the farm vehicles because there's a worldwide shortage of uh, C uh, CPUs for um, cars and bikes and um, farm vehicles and things like that. There's a worldwide shortage. <laughs> And I thought that was very nice of them to let us know that. They're actually selling these um, vehicles and uh, you can't even get them off the crate or out of the crate properly. So you can't even drive them inside. So they're missing their ECUs. How great is that? But they're still selling them, the buggers. I think that's pretty... Uh, pretty down. They should at least let you know that they haven't got ease to use for them so you can't sell them at the moment. If a customer's waiting for it and you've got to tell them can't start it because there's no uh, ECU in it or computer um, so you know <laughs> they can't have it until uh, until we get them but they're, they're more than willing to sell them and get them out of their warehouse and ship them to you, but you can't do anything because once you've built them, you can't unbuild them and put them back in the crate. Anyway, um, if I think of something else, uh, as, uh, as you already know, I always uh, put some, sometimes put something in that I forget to talk about. And if I have, I'll put it in here. Yeah, there was something I meant to mention um, next time I did a vlog, too. Um, I'm getting very close, if not surpassed, the mileage or kilometerage, if that's a word. When I bought uh, Smokey, it had 22,000 odd kilometers on it. And uh, now it's 44,300. So it must be getting close to me doing the most kilometres on the bike so far. Uh, in fact, in fact, um, I'm not sure exactly how many people had the bike before me, but um, it had 22,000 on when I bought it, and uh, it's now 44. So I've definitely done the most kilometreage in the least amount of time uh, since I've had the bike. I've had it probably three and a half years roughly, maybe a little bit more. Um, so it got minimal use before me but now I'm using it quite often. So I just thought I'd throw that in too for people. And um, if I haven't, well, I'll, um, well, so this is Bandit Neb on uh, Samoki, the Suzuki Bandit, bidding you all very, very, very safe riding. And um, until next time, cheers for now.